We are at the March Bank Speedway for the 37th race of Season 3 of the SCR Grand National Series. For the second race in a row, Sebastian Torres will be leading us to the green flag. Number beside him is the 16 of Jack Jett. That's the starting lineup here for today's race. All 42 drivers are here, both the full and the part-time drivers. Entering this race, Chase Abbott, who will be starting in the 21st position, has a 52-point lead over Brent James. Brent James will be starting... If I can find him. In the 33rd position. The March Bank Speedway, also known as the Hanford Motor Speedway, this is the first time we are using this track, is a 1.37 mile triangular oval. So, a brand new track here in the Grand National Series. So, we have never used this track before. Be very curious to see what will happen. Sebastian Torres, as I mentioned uh, in the last round at North Wilkesboro, he entered that race minus 197. He has cut that lead down to 147. So the, the defending two-time champion with five races to go, he has a small chance of possibly still mathematically winning the championship if he continues to have good runs. But he has 41 other drivers that will be trying to prevent him from winning for the second race in a row. And now, for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. Usually this track uh, was run back in 1951 as a dirt track. But this is a, well, as you can see, oval and paved track, so... We are breaking with tradition. That's all right. Pace cars pulled in. We sit there and pull the belts tight one more time. We are racing 20 laps here at the March Bank Speedway. And there's the green flag. Sebastian Torres leads him off into turn number one. This banked track heading down this first short shoot. Jack Jett on the outside being pushed by Chris Tuckett. Is Tucker going to fall in line behind Torres? Yes, he will, looks like. Jack still fighting on the outside. Torres still fighting on the inside line. Now Tucker ducks down to try and get second place. Looks like he will off the final turn. But leading the 117th lap of his Grand National Series career, Sebastian Torres has now crossed the all-time laps leader here in the Grand National Series. So Torres once again making history in the Grand National Series. He was tied entering this race with Kristen Russell at 116. He is now at 117 in terms of laps lit. Chris Tuckett still fighting second place, Jack Jett. Torres goes a little bit wide this time off turn number two instead of staying on the low line. Let's see if that will benefit him or not. See, uh, the field has actually broken up just a little bit. Austin Abilene in the 15th position. Currently 14th will be Brian Gigsby who will receive the final point for this race. Wait, no. Now it will go to David Wade. Jack Jett has finally cleared Chris Tuckett, so he'll try and close in on Sebastian Torres for the race lead. Jack is winless in 36 career starts. Can you turn that around today here at March Bank Speedway? Chris Tuckett falling back to third. Fourth is Breezy Bisbane, who won earlier in the season at Monroe County. Battle for position. There's Chris Kyle trying to defend against John Alabama. This will be for fifth. Chris Kyle, who finished last at Oakland, is trying to Salvage somewhat of a good end to his season. We got four races to go after this. Kyle has yet to visit victory lane. We got caught. That's way wide. There's the 92 of Andrew James, currently 12th right now, as he's being passed by Brian Gigsby and Austin Abilene. This will be for the final points paying position. You see Chaka Duskwatcher 
Going past the 76 car. Duskwatcher will be very happy because in three more races, we will go to her favorite racetrack, Carroll Speedway, where she is a three-time winner at that track, trying to sweep our race events this season. Battle for position. Chris Kyle trying to get around Breezy Bisbane, not able to. Another car that is really wide, that is the 76 of Shane Thomas, but still was able to keep it off that wall. John Alabama, who had a good finish in the last run at uh, North Wilkesboro, going past the two. Uh, Bronson Minnick. Have crossed the start finish line, complete lap number five, 15 laps to go here at March Bank Speedway. Of course, as I mentioned before, this uh, track back, ran back in the 1950s was a dirt track. This is a paved version of more fictionalized of 2022. It's got the safer barriers and whatnot. And hopefully, one day this track gets edited and made into a dirt track so we can have the real version, but. As a replacement track, this is a good version of it. Better than nothing. As Sebastian Torres, he is enjoying this track because he has led all five, make that now six laps. But you see Jack Jett is slowly closing in. Now you see Brent James, he is outside of the points. He's falling back to 38th. Not good for our championship contender. Where's the other one? Chase Abbott. There he is. Chase Abbott is currently. Oh, I lost him. There he is. Chase Abbott is currently outside of the points at 23rd. So Torres, he came in minus 147. If he continues where he's going, he might close in more. Of course, we already know there might be some races Torres will skip in the next few rounds and that will hurt his chances. So Torres, he needs to win these races and finish high up in points where he can actually get a shot at the championship in the season finale at Lakeview. I believe will be the finale for Lake, Lake Wood. See Chris Kyle on the inside line trying to close in on Breezy Bisbang. That will be for fourth. And they have caught Torres. They have caught him. Lead is down to one-tenth of a second. Let's see who has the fastest lap. That would be John Alabama. Currently back in the sixth position. There he is. 39.266 compared to Brian Gigsby's 39.316. So we've got about... He's got about five... Tenths of a second faster than Brian Gigsby. And Torres, he is all the way down in eight as the fastest lap. Speaking of John Alabama, here he comes. And this will be for fifth. Not able to get around Chris Kyle. Still a long way to go. This time by, we'll be officially halfway. It'll be ten laps down, ten laps to go. Torres has led every single lap. He did the same thing in North Wilkesboro. Torres trying to defend the low line, trying to make sure Jack Jett does not get a bumper underneath him. You see the field has sprouted just somewhat. You see Duskwatcher trying to go for eighth position. Torres has expanded his lead, is now up to three tenths, so he gained two tenths that lap. Duskwatcher moving around the 76. I see who has the last points pay in position. That would be David Wade who finished second to Sebastian Torres in the last round at North Wilkes Pro and also scored a victory earlier in the season at Langhorn. So David Wade has been uh, having a good, quiet season so far. He scored that first career win, and he has been solidly in points the last few rounds. Have to keep a lookout for him in the next few rounds as he's battling Austin Abilene, who has won three of the last seven races. He's won four overall this season. Early championship contender has basically somewhat faded over the last few races after Darlington. 
after Chase Abbott won and scored that 1,225 points. Torres continues to hold the race lead. He was pulled away by a pretty big margin. But they can always catch up to him. And we have eight laps to go. There it is. Lead is now up to five tenths of a second, basically half a second. Back for position. You see Chris Kyle trying to pass on the outside of John Alabama. Not usually the way to go around this track. As John's going to try and fight back on the inside line. Let's see who's, who's in last. That will be Sergeant Young, again, early championship contender. Not faring too well here at March Banks. Of course, all these teams coming here for the first time. You see Brent James continuing to struggle. He's at 32nd. And Chase Abbott is currently in 21st. So if Abbott continues to fight, he might be able to get up to 14th and score at least one point. Back up front. Make sure we don't miss anything. Nope. Lead is now four tenths of a second. Torres actually lost a tenth with six laps to go. The last thing Torres wants to see right now is a caution because that would bring all of his challengers closer to him. And Torres is more than content right now to just ride the rail and possibly scoring back-to-back -back wins. Let's see, did Lee go down? Nope, he actually gained. He gained another tenth. Torres did over Jack Jett. You see, Smash, you see Chris Kyle has actually gotten back around John Alabama, and he's actually going to go for fourth. Can he get under the 82? Yes, he will. It's amazing to me that Chris Kyle has yet to visit Victory Lane here in the Grand National Series. All of the success he's had in the Tim Hortons Canadian Series and other uh, series he has competed in, but he has never won a Grand National Series race. That, that's just... A shocking stat that he's number one. As Sebastian Torres leads him across the line, five laps to go. I mean, what more can be said about Sebastian Torres? Five poles this season. He has visited Victory Lane twice this season. Uh, Kristen Russell had... Uh, several victories this season uh, up to four, I believe. Yeah, four wins, and all those wins allowed for Russell to lead 116 laps and beat Torres in terms of getting to 100 laps led. Torres in the last round, however, led every single lap to get, make it tied at 116, and after he led the first lap, Torres is now the all-time race lap leader in terms of laps led in a career. And if Torres can win this, he will tie Kristen Russell with five wins in a Grand National Series career. But it's not over yet because Jack Jett has closed in on Sebastian Torres as we will have three laps to go. Only Jack Jett can prevent Sebastian Torres from winning back-to-back -back races, which will tie Sebastian Torres with Chuck a desk watcher and Austin Abilene uh, being the only three drivers to win back-to-back -back races. And if Torres does win, it'll be the first time in his career that he has won more than twice in a season. But like I said before, don't count out Jack Jett. It just takes one slip-up from the defending two-time champion, and Jack Jett might visit victory lane for the first time in his Grand National Series career. But Torres... So consistent. We got two laps to go. Torres is in the same uh, wavelength as uh, Jesse Turner, uh, Chaka White Lion, Dusk Watcher at Carroll Speedway. When they are consistent, they are so hard to beat. As long as they keep hitting their marks. But Jack Jess not giving up. He's going to try and pass on the high side. Torres blocks a little bit. You saw him move up the track a little bit. Breezy Bisbane has actually closed in on these as he battles Chris Tucker for third. There comes Jack Jett on the inside line. 
It's going to be a drag race. It's going to be coming to the white flag. One lap to go. What's up, oh, Jack Jet? He makes the move into turn number one, but Sebastian Torres is going to be able to fight back on the high side. We've seen how strong he is. There he goes. Can he drop down in front of Jack Jet into turn number two? Yes, he will. Wow. Jack Jet's going to have one more chance. Down the back stretch for the final time into turn number three. And the turn number four. Jack Jet gave it his all. Here we go. Down this long front stretch off the final turn. Jack Jet's not going to be able to make a move. Sebastian Torres wins back to back races. He wins the inaugural race. He wins here at March Bank Speedway. Wow. Jack Jet gave it his all, tried to score his first win. But Sebastian, with a run on the high side, is able to maintain his race lead and score his second win in a row. Here are your race results. Sebastian Torres for the second race in a row scores the win. Second, Jack Jett. Third, Chris Tuckett. Fourth, Breezy Bisbane. Fifth, John Alabama. Sixth, Chris Kyle. Seventh, Shane Thomas. Eighth, Chad Desk Watcher. Ninth, Bronson Minnick. And tenth, Brian Gigsby. Andrew James finishes 14th. The last driver to score points. Chase Abbott finishes 20th. Brent James. This is 30th for the second race in a row. Neither driver scores points. We had all 42 drivers finish race on lead lap. No one was out. Well, that is it here for the inaugural race here at the March Bank Speedway. We'll take you to victory lane for the second race in a row with the number three car of Sebastian Torres. And unfortunately, there is not a victory lane. Here are the point standings after the 37th race of the season at March Banks. Chase Abbott remains the points leader with a 52-point lead over Brent James, but Sebastian Torres has once again closed in what was once 147, as high as 197. It is now down to just 72 points for Sebastian Torres. Fourth is Cole Ash, 161 points behind, and fifth is Boston Austin, 166 points behind. Rest of point standings. We will next see you for round number 38 at the Speedway Park, and until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.